it is time to horror show it's a little after seven on friday we're well right now it's just me i'm gonna get the horses fed breakfast and hopefully everyone will be here soon and we can get the trailer loaded up because i'm in a really weird mood today and that should be interesting i had monday at home and then yesterday at home and then the other two days i was horse shopping so I've not had a lot of time at home and now we're gonna turn around and go somewhere again. Friday morning, I had somebody do the chores, so I didn't have to worry about that before I left, but I still chose to feed the horses because it's just easier for me to do it since I do it every single day and I can just do it in my sleep at this point. Okay, Riley. <laughs> we got the horses fed as quickly as possible so that we could finish packing the trailer up and get on the road. After getting the ponies situated in their stalls and our tax stall organized, we started schooling the ponies. I let Riley try doing flash on her own since she's not been having any issues with him at home and he was really good for her. He got treated for ulcers and he's been much more relaxed. After Riley was done with her pony, I got on Pablo for a few minutes to prep him for Riley. No, that was right in the shin too. Ow! Give me that. I need a punching bag so I can take my anger out really quick. No, give me the crab. Please, Riley. No! Will you please be my punching bag? I will. No. Ow! Give me that. We're not sword fighting. Oh, ow! <laughs> You're hurt. Ow! You just went after a You're hurting me. I'm not even hitting you. <laughs> I'm gonna go right for the face, okay? Oh. <laughs> it won't hurt. Just let me. 
Okay. Did that hurt? No. Ah! Okay, okay, that's for the owl. That was like, no. Unfortunately, Marco only got to hang out with me today because his kid had to go to school and wasn't able to get here in time. But anyways, my trusty little pony who never has any issues at shows decided the ring he was showing in was horrible. When he first got to the ring, there were kids jumping on a trampoline and he just could not handle that so he had to leave and come back when they were gone. There was also a pretty large creek on the backside of the ring that Marco also thought was going to get him. He started to settle eventually, but he still just wasn't thrilled to be in that ring. You look like a freak. You look like a little chucky. Riley just looks like an alien. That is my hood. You're gonna have to clean my boots for me. No, I'm not. Wanna bet? No, you wanna not. show without stirrups tomorrow? Okay. No. I just follow with that surf, that's fine. And I don't wear that surf, that's fine. Saturday morning we woke up and it was pouring. The show wasn't canceled, so the kids got to show in the rain for their first time. I personally was a little uncomfortable letting the ponies jump or canter in the rain given that it had been raining all night and I didn't want to risk injuring them, especially since Marco was out most of last year with an injury, so the girls just did trout poles today. By this point in the day, we're all soaking wet and very cold. None of us really came prepared enough for the rain. As much as we all wanted to go back to the hotel and take a hot shower and put on dry clothes, we couldn't do that because Pablo still had to go in short syrup. So we all dug down deep and got Pablo done. Although today was not fun, it was a good experience for the girls and will make them tough. Rarely is anything going to go the way you want it to go. So you control what you can control and you find a way to deal with the rest. Pablo ended up getting some ribbons and short stirrup. This is still only Riley's second time showing him, so she's really still figuring him out, but she's doing really well, and the show this weekend was a lot better than her first show on him.
and this is yours. Riley, what did you get in trout poles on Trashy? Champion. What did you get? Reserve champion. I know you're videoing, Stephanie. I'm not trying to hide the fact that I am. After we were done showing, we went to the tack trunk so that Chloe could get a helmet and I needed to get some oil so that the saddles could be taken care of after riding in the rain all day. This one? This one? Don't lick the box. She licked it. How's it going? <laughs> This is what happens when you're AC too long. <laughs> Sit down, eat hot dogs. <laughs> Sunday morning did not go the way Bella wanted it to go for cross rails. Marco was not having it, so that ended up getting scratched, but little Chloe finally got to do her first horse show and she did awesome, especially for being thrown on the pony at the last minute and only having about five minutes to get ready. Seeing how happy Chloe was to finally show honestly made the whole weekend worth it. There you it. go, Chloe. This is what I did with 20 Bella Well, now you have your own. Flash did end up doing cross rails today, but just to be on the cautious side, I had Riley trot all of her courses on him. Which porta potty were you in? Did you check the right one? I'll double check it again. Yeah, go, go dig in the poop. Was it in there? Are you sure it's going? Did you check it? Why don't you sit down and think about it? Why don't you sit down and think about it? Thanks, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't think she'll get a little cup of No, it was right there. Riley <laughs> did it. The whole here. time. Did Riley put it in here. <laughs> so, what have you learned? <laughs> Not to let Riley touch my phone. No. no. <laughs> Open wine. By the time it was Pablo's turn to show, the footing had dried out a lot and it was actually pretty nice. So, Pablo was a much happier boy today. Pablo did short stirrup again today and ended up with some more ribbons in the division. He was definitely going more like himself today because he wasn't so mad about the water splashing on him.
we've definitely had better shows. The whole weekend was a bit rough, but there were some good moments. It was a great learning experience for the girls, and I also learned that my two ponies are complete wimps when it comes to riding and flooded footing. These types of shows are far more important than the ones where everything goes your way and you walk away champion. Shows like this make you grow as a rider and as a person. So even though it might not have went exactly the way everyone wanted it to, the show is exactly what we all needed. Just in case you're curious as to why they're using the shovel like this, it's because it broke and nobody ever bothered to walk into the barn to get them a working one. I'll tell you when. You ready? Now. <laughs> I'll tell you when. No. Come on, you gotta be brave. <laughs> Chocolate and cook.